Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Hi friends, we are back today with our book Saluting Spring and I'm Liana Valencia and today we are going to read in chapter 16 and it is it says be not troubled. I found that the very commandment that was intended to bring life actually brought death and it Apostle Paul in Romans 7 verse 10. If we were to ask the grain of wheat its opinion about the mole, it would of course say that the mole is a place of pure torment. Nonetheless, that is where the grain is transformed into the glory of the bread that feeds the world. If we were to ask a piece of wood for its opinion about the soul, it would say that it's the cruel tool that delicates um, delicate it in trial. Even so, thanks to this supposed torture work, the wood becomes refined and useful for noble purposes. If we were to ask the stone about the barren, it would certainly explain that it is an, abom an abominable um, prosecutor of its peace of mind, wounding it day and night. However, it is due to its action that the stone is raised to the status of being one of earth's polished and um, gleaming treasures. So it is with the soul. So is it with the soul. So it is with the struggle. If we were to question people about the flesh, they would reply with a thousand absurdities. If we were to listen to them speak about suffering, we would hear old nonsenses. If we were to ask them to say something about their problems, they would shed bitter tears. Nevertheless, it is imperative to realize that from the body that has been disciplined by terrible obstacles and purifying suffering, the spirit always re-emerge more beautiful and beautified, more robust and more enlightened for immortality. Therefore, be not troubled before the struggle. Instead, take a closer look. What may seem like a failure is very often a victory, and what seems to contribute to your death, in fact, a contribution to your progress in the eternal life. Emmanuel is coming today and is encouraging us to look at our struggles in a new way. And he's using the mold and the stones to explain to us that to struggle is to purify ourselves. How many times have we, when we are going through a struggle, asked God to take it away, to be released from the struggle, instead of asking to, or to be thankful, and instead of asking to be inspired to learn and to serve. Because it's through serving, through these struggles, that we can see in many of the spiritist books um, about the higher spirit that comes to us to help and to assist. And their struggle is a reminder for us that regardless if you are a pure spirit, coming to assist the soul on earth to reincarnate, that you still are going to go through struggles because this is earth. 
and this is the school for us to learn. But if we can focus on the eternal life, like Emmanuel is reminding us, on, on every struggle as a purification for our souls, and in time, we will see that it's for the good. And we will be like the examples in so many spirits books and like Jesus and like Chico Xavier. There are so many examples for us that through struggle that we will be at peace because it's only a perception of earthly things and earthly life. But that our focus can be on the eternal life, on the soul, on the lessons, that God is so lovingly giving to us. So if we can change our focus and we can look at it as a redemptive um, way for our soul, then we can be thankful and then we can be peaceful. It is just like when it rains very hard. Although we know that rain is very important, when you stand in the rain and you can feel on your sensitive skin, when you are so sensitive, this, the rain is very hot, but it washes away all this dirt and it refreshes. And when you understand that it's important and you can be there without the sensitivity, on the skin and understand that it's important and that it's a life force that helps all beings and all of creation, you will see and understand the thankfulness behind that. And then, when, as soon as you understand, the sun of understanding will shine on your face and you will feel this glorious warmth on your skin. And then we will know and we will keep our eyes on that and then in the understanding. So let's together in the struggles, in the sun, be, be in prayer and be mindful to see where we can, what God is expecting, where we should still, still change ourselves. Because it's only a thought. Struggle is only a thought. Even if it's in no, there's no maybe job, there's no money, there are so many things happening, illnesses, still being in that state of mind and serving, not state of mind, in that struggle, but still serving. It is only a state of mind. But if we truly understand this message of Emmanuel, and we so freely tell us, in the end, what may seem like a failure is very often a victory. Let's be victorious. Let's be brave. Let's be brave through these struggles. Let's remind ourselves through all these lessons in Spiritism to keep our eyes on God and to know that this too shall pass because everything always passes. And I think that is a great example that Mother Mary, through Shikha Shabir, in his example of living and also his struggles, gave to us. So to read about these things, to be in the lessons, to be in all this, will remind us so that we can be courageous as well through our struggles. Thank you so much for joining me today. I would like for us to... Um, end this program today with a prayer so if we can close our eyes and just relax beloved mother father god we are very thankful in this day for the struggles that you give to us to purify our souls we ask that you would help us in this day so that we can be courageous so that we can understand and so that we do not, um, we can go through these things and so that we can be of service. We pray for all beings on this earth 
this beautiful earth that you've given us as a school to evolve ourselves, not just ourselves, but to be of service, to be your hand. Let us focus, let us help us to focus on this and not be stuck with all these struggles that we think we go through. Help us to focus not on the material stuff, but on the spirit, so that we can focus on the good, so that we can speak the good, so that we can bless one another in this beautiful example that you give to us. In this day, we are thankful for all these servants, our brothers and sisters like Alan Kardak and Chika Xavier and Emmanuel, all the behind the scenes spirits as well as the mediums that on earth did a great job and helped to help us today. They made it much easier for us to learn about what you want us to do and where you want us to focus, put our focus on. So we thank every soul that is part of this. We thank every soul that is part of Godic Radio, the mentors of Godic Radio, who is assisting us always. For everyone always being there, determined to spread this beautiful good news. We are thankful for each one because it's, because it's through them that we can be courageous that we are reminded constantly of your love. So help us do so that we can remind every soul that crosses our path also of your beautiful love and to remind them to understand, understand that this too shall pass. And in this day, we ask that we can close this meeting and we thank you for the opportunity and so be it. Thank you, everybody. We thank you so much for um, being together. Thank you for Kodak Radio and every soul that is part of Kodak Radio. This is where we have the hands, we have the loving hands that assist us all through our struggles and through our path, this path of evolution in our souls. So let's take hands mentally. And let's help each other, let's inspire each other so that we can stay on this path, so that we can do more, love more, spread the good news to everyone, regardless of where they are. Thank you so much. God bless.